Which is the way of the workings of Irish football. We're still out around Abbottstown and Stephen McGuinness, the General Secretary of the PFAI, who works in the same building as, uh, as Frank Gavin and John Delaney, who we've just heard from, is with us to react to what they were saying about this ongoing controversy, which boils back to the Bray Wanderers, Limerick players, not been paid their wages for up on two months in the Bray Wanderers players' cases. It looked as though it had all calmed down until some petrol, it feels, was thrown out there with the FAI statement last night and this 300,000 euro into an escrow account, 150,000 from the FAI and 150,000 from the PFAI. Stephen, you were on with Jared this morning on OTBAM and you used words like a point scoring move, it was a missile launch, it turned into a, a media circus and we've put those points to Fran Gavin and to John Delaney. The, the one thing maybe that needs full clarity from the PFAI side is the timeline of, of when ye and what ye knew over the past week about the potential for this fund. Yeah, I suppose like everything um, th- there's always whispers there's always uh, we're in the building so there's whispers mm. in corridors of oh, there may be a fund set up I-, I think I even spoke about it last week myself you um, did so that's Frank Gavin mentioned that this yeah I, I mentioned a podcast of, of a fund nothing of the detail of what was dropped in a statement last night I think we would all look at something like that and saying yeah it's a positive whether it's from the solidarity money that the clubs are entitled to get from mm. the FAI that that's held back um, and used then for players wages or a model of, of some way but to come out with a statement last night having had no direct contact with us to discuss it in any way, shape or form and I think it's, it's well documented in the last couple of weeks how difficult it has been for us to get a meeting around Bray and Limerick. We had seven requests of meetings torn down. Mm. To think then out of that then we've suddenly had this great discussion with the FAI around a fund that would assist our members is just, it's, it's crazy talk. There's no way that, that suddenly relationships have got that much better that they now suddenly are going to start coming into us with these great ideas. That didn't happen. There was no direct contact with us in, in regards to, to a fund and the details of it which they dropped uh, in a statement last night um, came is a massive surprise. So just on no direct contact and you said this morning there was no formal contact. Mm. Was there informal conversations yeah, I, in the canteen where people saying that was a good idea we're going to follow up on that? Yeah, no there was no, there was no uh, direct contact as you say there was no informal discussions. I think we had all heard and football is, is, is that type of environment. You'll hear rumours, hear rumours of everything every day of the week until you have something formally in a document in front of you that you can discuss, look at, speak to our members about speak to the management committee about then, then you can have a sit down. Like the FAA went as far as bringing to, to their board of management to approve it got it approved and then dropped the statement last night and the force we heard of the, of the, of the amount of money that was, rec- was recorded and what they expected the PFA to put in for us to pay for the players to pay for their own wages it's, it really is remarkable so if, when you first proposed maybe some sort of a fund that you say dipping into solidarity yeah. fees something like that I wasn't dreaming of 150,000 coming no, from the PFA because if this is that's what I was wondering like, if this is a good idea what's what What's the problem at the end of the day? Yeah, there's no way that we would uh, we would be putting 150,000 of the players' money uh, without obviously any discussions with, with players that mm. you put in that type of money, um, especially when you see the FAI and the turnover that they have. Like I think we made a point this morning, and it wasn't having a go at John Delaney's salary. Th- 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 far from it. What we're saying is we have one organisation who's able to pay their CEO that amount of money, um, which is more than what's in the fund, and they're looking to an organisation to pay 50% of that, who have three full-time staff. The FAI have an organisation of 180 staff with a 45 million turnover. Um, it, it, it is just it is remarkable. Another part of this dynamic is that Fran Gavin used to be in your job he and was. <laughs> was the man who brought the PFAI into the FAI buildings. He did. And he was saying that he feels that the PFAI can't afford to pay this 150000 Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know how he, how he knows that, but maybe, I, I don't know. But, but from our own point of view, we can't even discuss anything to do with that until we see a, a credible report in front of us and meeting with the FAI to discuss it. Not this... T- um, as we said this morning, Fran had mentioned a media circus. They've created a media circus here. Uh, I don't know whether it's to corner us or to catch us by surprise, I don't know. Mm. But, but to, to have a situation where you are looking for another party to get into an agreement with you, to put 150,000 in uh, with three full time staff, as I said, um, is, and not discuss it with you in any way, shape, or form, put no documentation in front of you, discuss it with you directly, none of that. Oh, I can't answer for you. I find I, I, honestly, I was I, last night. I was shocked that Simone and Ollie, who work with me, the three of us, rang each other and said, "Is this really happening? Like, are we at this stage that, mm. that not?" And, and the, probably the breakdown of communication when you when you go back to it, Nathan, probably goes back to the women's international stuff. I think the FAI were badly hurt um, by um, by what happened there. Again, that was from our point of view. We communicated to them, we gave them every opportunity to resolve it, and they didn't. And the stand was made. And I think since then, to be honest, I think relationships have 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 been more strong as each issue has come past and at no stage of the FEI as I can see it, ever stepped in to say look enough is enough here um, and let's try and iron out our issues. Frank Gavin
Kevin didn't want to get into when meetings were requested and who meetings were requested through or any of that, but he, he was pretty insistent that there was no meeting scheduled for yesterday that was rescheduled for Friday, that that simply didn't happen. It, did you expect a meeting with the? Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, because I did because what, what had been relayed. To Why us, did you expect that? Yeah, I suppose the, the, what had been relayed to us was that the FEI wanted uh, to to discuss um, relationships. They wanted to discuss um, what had gone on in the last couple of weeks. Um, how could we work together and, and get relationships better? And how could we come up with an idea and a plan to ensure that this doesn't happen going forward? So that's what we expected. Um, and then the FEI then today, today say then that wasn't going to happen. So so how did the FEI expect that? How do they expect that we're going to? Uh, we're going to get involved in a, in a scheme of this nature mm. without any discussions with us. How is that ever going to happen? Who relays this information? Because as you say, it's a small, you've only three staff members. Is there, not a, is there not a clearly defined line of communication? Um, it's interesting. Like uh, for, for When I came into the building first, um, you, you could contact John Delaney directly. I could contact John Delaney directly on issues that you, you know would be big issues. So whether it was back in the day where players um, at, at a Dublin Super Cup, there was an issue on appearance fee and it was going to be a big issue. You contact John Delaney direct and the issue would be resolved or he'd come back to you so you would have that work as time went on that sort of went away a little bit and after the women's international we were we were given um, correspondence to us saying that all discussions in relation to the FU must go through Frank Gavin that mm. was what we were told but to be honest, I ain't going to be dictated by anybody to tell me who I can and can't contact. Uh, if I want to contact our CEO of, of our organisation, if I want to contact John Delaney, I'll contact John Delaney. If he decides that he doesn't want to respond to me, that's his decision. That, that's ultimately his decision. Um, but from our point of view, we have always um, communicated with the FAO on anything that we've done. We've always mm. kept the communication lines open. It's their decision, as, as we see it right now, to decide that they don't want to do that. And they don't seem to want to deal with us direct. No, John Delaney, we asked him about that. Does he feel for such an important issue that maybe he should intervene and get involved he seems happy to let Fran Gavin take the lead that this is a League of Ireland issue that he's the director of competitions this is his job to deal with situations like this and that keeping going down that route is the way to go do you I feel that the only way that this gets solved that somehow the two organizations can start working properly because the one thing that everybody says and whether they're platitudes or whether there's a real deep belief they want the best for the players they want the best for the league of course do you need to sit in a room with John Delaney and argue it out, trash it out, yeah. and somehow come to an understanding? I think that's clear, Nathan. I think that's clear that has to happen. Um, I think we're, we're open to it. Uh, I, th I think Fran has a, has a role to play in, as director of competitions, but I think this is above that now. I, I think we're at a situation where when there's funds of this nature being set up uh, and um, when there's been issues for so long now, I do think it, it is John Delaney's time now to, to come to the table and say, look, guys, we all need to get on here for the better of the game, for the better of the play within the game and um, we all have to have a, work, a good working relationship which was in place like it's not that long ago where, where we were working together but obviously that has broken down I said to you since April 2017 I've seen it it, it get gradually worse to the point where we are today so look we're open to it and we always have and we'll always open, keep communication lines open but it is very difficult like I, I reported last week seven meeting requests to come and meet it's just about basic issues in the league like I think there's a point where John Delaney has to get involved when you have 20% of the players in the league not being paid their basic salary that's mm. the reality of it two of our top 10 teams uh, couldn't pay wages and at some stage in the past John Delaney would have played an active role in this and, and worked with the PFA to resolve issues and that unfortunately hasn't happened for quite a while and as I said to you we're more than open to, to discuss it Finally, if the concept of this fund is the right thing and if the way the FAI want to go down is with the PFAI contributing, are you going to put this proposal to your members? I think to do anything like that, Nathan, I think you have to get the detail first. I mean, it's, it's very difficult for us to put anything to the members based on a press release from the FAI last night. So if there's anything that the FAI, if the FAI put the plan in front of exactly how it's going to work, the ins and outs of it, I think we can then discuss with the relevant people within our organisation, the management committee and the players, to discuss it more. But at the moment, it's very difficult to do that when you don't have any detail about a press release from the FAI last night. All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Stephen.